So as with any popular game, the developer behind it likes the amount of money that they got from the first one, so they tend to make a second one. Almost since the moment it came out, everyone's been dying for a sequel to Overwatch. Said no one. I'm uh, not a big fan of Overwatch, the original one, and apparently they made a sequel that everyone's confused about. Is it really a sequel? Is it just new characters, new maps? But I'm excited to see what they're going to introduce. You know, I'm going to give Blizzard a chance, despite all the things they've done this year. Uh, we got to keep an open mind, okay? So let's do it. Let's see what they got for us. No sector is everywhere. Lucio's decided to change his hairstyle to weird glowing raver tubes. Here? Yeah, looks it's like a bunch of returning cool. characters. Oh no, those darn robots are at it again. I will say, Blizzard does an excellent job with all their, their cinematics. You've seen what they've done with Winston, all those cool videos. <laughs> Killer robots! Killer robots is the answer to making action-packed entertainment that's family-friendly. That's probably one of the big things that the original Overwatch was missing, was some, some single-player content. We didn't have to deal with all the toxic people playing online. Nobody will stop us. Oh, Ironically, the conceit at the core of Overwatch is should robots, Omnics, have rights. Still killing a bunch of robots. Looks like they've got some in-game cinematics too. Oh, Toronto! We have Toronto on that map now. Oh, even co-op mode. What makes something highly replayable versus just replayable? We already know this map, of course. Yo, are they gonna show us the new map or what? Raid bosses. Level up your heroes. Now, this is just for the single player experience. They add this RPG element to it. Like a more COD style where you level up and unlock abilities. Oh, interesting. So now there's some like, you can, you know, personalize the character with abilities. This is pretty cool, especially the Toronto map here. That robot is a badass. <laughs> yes, we got Toronto there now. Of course, Toronto is only about hockey. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, uh, I don't really notice a difference. <laughs> Sojourn here. Sojourn. Our Canadian hero. Can't wait to uh, see what she's all about. They teased new heroes and only showed one. Curious. Oh, and she's the Canadian hero too, right? She has a little le like leaf there too, the maple leaf. The Canadian hero, it's about time. I didn't get the accent though. I am I'm very, very excited for Oppression 2, I mean Overwatch 2. Okay. Um. I'm gonna be honest, okay? I'm all about that, the truth. Um, that was a little underwhelming. Can we call them out here? Like, why is there an Overwatch 2? Um, all of this stuff, can't you just introduce to Overwatch? Why release the second game? It doesn't really make sense. You know, I usually like to be pretty sticky about these things and make all kinds of jokes, but I'm legit excited for all the updates that will be coming to original Overwatch. Do I care about the single player elements that are being added with Overwatch 2? Not really, but you know, but maybe it's a good thing because ultimately not caring about the single player, if they're going to be adapting all of the updates to the original Overwatch, then I'll just get a bunch of great new content and not have to pay anything for it. So I, I like what, Over, uh, what Blizzard is doing with their brand new Overwatch 2 title. It looks like they've kind of answered some of the rumors that it might just be, you know, additional maps with additional characters. They're actually adding more to the game. So uh, respect to Blizzard, it looks like they've had a busy couple months over there to answer, you know, Riot Games, juicy, juicy uh, unleashing of their own uh, FPS game. So excited to see what Overwatch 2 has in store once it gets uh, released. Liar! Oh, you're right, I'm lying. <laughs>